नमस्कार दोस्तों माय नेम इज विकास एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू एनिमेट एंड एक्सप्लोरेड व्यू इन सॉलिड वर्क्स वेयर वी विल सी हाउ टू एक्सप्लोर एन असेंबली हाउ टू एनिमेट एन एक्सप्लोरेड असेंबली एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट एन एक्सप्लोरेड लाइन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द टूडे इज वीडियो सो वी हैव टू ऑप्शन टू एक्सप्लोर एन असेंबली इन सॉलिड वर्क्स so first option is from here we can click it and you can see there is an option exploded view okay the second option is configuration manager so we can go here right click and as you can see there is an option of new exploded view so click here we can see the option appear to explode an assembly Okay, click this and this. Okay, we have three option to drag is. So we are going to drag in this direction because it's it's going to be assemble in this direction. Okay, scroll down. Done. Now need to drag this bolt. Okay, fine. Then select this and this. Drag this in this direction. Okay. We can also give a dimension. Okay. Like how far? Okay. Now go here and we can edit this exploded view feature. Okay. Select this bolt. Drag this in this direction. Okay, done. So we are going to follow the same procedure for all these four parts and hardware in a same way. Okay, one by one. Fine. This bolt. Okay. So basically, we follow the rule of assembling. An assembly in workshop. So according to that only we will going to explode it, like how it is going to be assembled and where it is going to be assembled. Okay, fine. So exploded view is very helpful in a workshop to assemble an assembly. Okay. as you can see the next target is that hardware because this is going to be first assemble so drag this in upper direction okay fine now this part is going to be disassemble okay now this hardware so select this hardware one by one okay and drag this arrow in upper direction fine okay now this flange Okay, so these three arrows is very helpful for dragging the parts in exploded view. Okay, so now as you can see, there is an overlapping of parts, so this is not acceptable in exploded view. So we are going to adjust that exploded length, so we can drag this in upper direction. Click this. Explode it. Step nine, ten. You can drag this. Explode it. Eleven. So there should be some space between the two parts and hardware, so it should not overlap. So now, okay. Step nine. 
Now it's look fine because most of the parts are not overlapping on each other. Done. Fine. So now it is totally exploded. Some good. Fine. You can see, click here. We have a multiple option. We can delete and edit that step. Which step we wanted to delete or edit. Okay. Fine. Click here. And click collapse. So it will come to the original position and double click. So it will come back to exploded view. Again, right click. You can animate collapse option. So as you can see, animation started. So and one tab will appear on the screen as you can see. So here there are multiple options for animation. So we can check it is playback mode loop. Okay. We can also control the speed of animation. Okay, this is normal mode. Okay, play. So it is very fast because we have into two forward speed. So we can control the speed from here. As you can see, click this. Okay, now the speed is slow and the animation appear very slow. So, and you can also rotate that animation. Okay, let's look cool. You can also save that animation to the particular folder. So I'm saving here. You can also check the size and format. So here we are selecting mp4 video file and the size also and save this animation video. So as you can see it is saved in that folder. So we can check, we can play this and we can check the animation video. That's good. So the picture quality looks good. Okay. We'll go back to the assembly. Close this tab. Now our second task is to give an exploded line to all the parts in exploded view assembly. So we have two options here, from here and right click here. We have smart explode line option. So it will appear automatically all the lines of exploded view. So as you can see it appears but sometimes these lines are too messy and too much lines are there in automatic exploded view line. So we don't go for that automated lines sometime so delete this we have multiple options I click and delete you can also edit delete this okay and the second option is from here explode line sketch so we can manually give the lines to all the exploded parts so item to connect to so select this surplus surface and select this again so we have an option as you can see there is an arrow mark so we can change the direction okay now it's look good so this is the line 
select this circular surface and this center of that hardware okay so we are going to give all the exploded parts an exploded line in a same manner okay again select line select this center of that hardware and center of this hole okay line again okay in same fashion we are going to give a line to all the exploded parts So now it's look good. All the exploded lines are given. Okay, exit sketch, click here. Right click, you can edit all the lines if it is required. So as you can see step by step. So also we can delete and edit the steps. Of exploded view okay fine you can also collapse so it will come to original one and you can double click here it will come back to exploded view double click again okay so that is it for now if you learn something new from this video then please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to share this video to your colleagues and friends. Thank you.